Distortion Detector DD1 Video Manual, video number one. So they were going to use the Distortion Detector DD1 to find the maximum undistorted volume setting of this head unit, and then we're going to use it to find or set 5 dB of gain overlap on this Audison amplifier that's going to be on our mids and highs. So the first thing we're going to do is come to the amplifier, turn the crossover off, so full range, and then we're going to turn the gain all the way down. And then we take the DD1 harness and we plug it into the speaker outputs of the amplifier right here. We have our speakers disconnected for safety for the speakers. And we're going to plug the harness into the DD1. We take our CD, we're going to play track 2, 1 kilohertz, 0 dB, to find the maximum clean volume setting of this head unit. So, CD's in, we change to track 2, and we're going to watch the DD1 as we slowly turn up the volume on the head unit. Let's bring it up. So we've detected the signal and the DD1 says, yeah, that's a one kilohertz signal. That's what we're trying to do. So I keep going up on the volume of the head unit until the distortion light comes on and stays on, which is right there, volume setting 48. So I will back it down one click, let's see here, till the light goes off. So volume 47. So volume 47 is good. Volume 48, too much. So this head unit, we leave it at volume 47. We know that's the highest setting that can ever be used on this head unit where we can guarantee there will be a clean signal coming out of it. Now we switch to the five decibel overlap track, which is track four. And we come over here to our amplifier. Turn up the gain on the amp so the distortion light comes on, stays on, and then we back it off slightly. That's it, we're all done. We've just set this amplifier to exactly 5 decibels of overlap, just at the point of clipping. You can see the, on the scope here, it's just starting to clip the slightest amount. So it's under 1% distortion with 5 decibels of overlap. Thanks for watching.